I'm Valerie Rose. I'm the chair for funeral service education here at American River College. That's right, she said funeral service. Currently we have 51 students in our program. One of only two such programs in the entire state. Didn't know? You're not alone. Students and professors say people are surprised when they find out what they do for a living. Then the questions, how do you do it? Why do you do it? Instructor Daniel Courier says his interest started with a history lesson in the fifth grade. It just intrigued me, the whole process that the ancient Egyptians used. So I was curious to see how it was done. Yes, people are curious, but only so far. We're told they really don't want to know what's involved in prepping for a funeral. Actually, I would say most people say I could never do what you do, and thank you. Listen to some of the courses these students must take. They take law and ethics for funeral service. They take chemistry. They take anatomy and physiology. They take pathology management, restorative art, embalming. Just to name a few, then they've got a test for licensing. Yes, they work with the deceased, but students say in reality, much of the focus is on the living. It's actually working with families who are at the most vulnerable time in their life and really need some guidance and coming out of the process feeling at peace and, and like they did the right thing. Ultimately to give amazing services um, that are memorable for the right reasons. A way to do that is to help people view their loved one as being at peace, despite of what led to their death. Especially when there's trauma to the body or medical processes that may change the appearance of the deceased. It helps the families by maybe in their mind they're going to think that their loved one is not going to look the same or if the person was in some type of accident. You're helping that family give them closure. So to an extent, the students are also trained as artists. And that's where you come in. The school used a portion of its California Lottery supplemental funding to purchase latex heads and cosmetics to help students master skills they will undoubtedly have to use. The latex heads are just, they're lifelike in the way they're made. Uh, they have to be gruesome, but they have several injuries to the face so that they can work on to, they can do the restoration. And I don't even think that that's something that you would think about, oh I might have to fill and dress a wound on someone's face for them to be presentable. But these students will, and they need to be prepared for any and everything life throws at them. No two people die the same way, you know, we have to make sure they look like, you know, Uncle Fred. You're mimicking that skin tone and the skin color with the cosmetics and if you have to make wrinkles in the face, you can. Rose says before this, the class was using mannequin heads, which are anything but lifelike. She, like many others, had no idea how lottery funding works and that because it's largely flexible in nature, a school can use it to purchase something incredibly obscure. You never hear anybody talk about it, but now I tell everybody about this. Nor do you hear anybody talk about this. Salaries in the funeral service industry can range between fifty and seventy thousand dollars. That's before moving up into management positions. Imagine the possibilities. It's going to affect everyone. That it is not, you can't avoid it. And I think everyone in this program has a calling for it. You definitely, you know, you know why you're here. At American River College in Sacramento, Donna Cordova, California Lottery News.